everybody i hope you guys are doing well actually for today's video i just want to go ahead and address one of the comments on my channel but if you're new to this please please do help me and subscribe to my channel for sure and just leave a comment if you do have any questions that you also would like me to answer for sure so the question was my problem is exporting the contacts or filtering the ones that didn't reply like how are we able or how can we actually pull easily from REA reply the ones that actually did not respond from our campaign so if you guys have been bing watching my videos i recently uploaded one and you know titled how to upload or import your file correctly in REA reply this is actually related to the answer that was actually brought up earlier because if you did watch this video if i go to that video real quick okay so this is the video and along this you know within this video you would notice that in five 525 i did discuss how we're actually uploading the list to rea reply and one of the things that i did mention is actually adding a tag upon uploading them and one of the tags that we are adding inside or inside the system is awaiting for response which is if you notice here um one of the tags that i'm adding is awaiting for response tag so right now to answer the questions of how do we easily pull that up if you're in rea reply so i'm here in rea reply we basically need to just be under the contacts and then from this section what is nice about it is you do have this option to like filter your list by tags and like i said since we are filtering this by tags what i would do is upon launching a campaign so the tag that i'm adding is you know the list name that you know the time that it was up actually uploaded so as you notice they i want to see everybody that's in this list and then i also want to see so you can see that you can tag is similar to this tag and then you can apply that and you can add additional um, filter that also include if you know i want to include everybody that also has the tag awaiting for response so like if i do that the system would then automatically filter that matches both of these tags although i don't have a lot of contacts right now inside of this system so if i remove this you'd notice that i'm only pulling everybody that's in the awaiting response tag basically when i'm inside the system it's easier for me now to tell that okay everybody that is tag awaiting for response are people that actually did not respond on my campaign okay, but this you know, for this to also work you need to make sure that you're able to actually set up your workflow correctly to make sure that okay, everybody that is responded um that responded would automatically be tagged as replied and then remove awaiting for response so i'm just gonna go ahead and show you the automation that talks about that so if you go to like our automations under workflows we do have a specific applied stage so here, there is a reply stage that actually covers that, okay, if somebody's tagged as replied or somebody actually responded from a campaign, what I want to happen is to make sure that that person will be added in the stage replied. At the same time, it adds the tag replied and removes the tag. All of these tags not related to that and one of the tag is awaiting for response or awaiting response. In the moment it's removed, we know this person already responded and if that's not removed, this person has not yet responded so that's actually how we are going about okay filtering which ones have not responded on a specific campaign yet so yeah like is awaiting for response and i can easily go ahead and select that list and export them from rea reply so this is like export so you can export the list or you can add them to another text campaign maybe if you want to just send them an all at once text if it's just if it's just one then you can do like just one text message or just add them to a different campaign that you just created yeah hope that answers this question um and if you do have additional questions or maybe things that you would like to learn just leave them in the comment section and i'll do my best to create a separate video on that please do like this video and also subscribe or share this video really looking forward to grow this channel more thank you for watching